All right, moving on to Brandon Ayuk, bro. Brandon Ayuk. Now, for a guy that's been like top 15 pretty much for the last, like, was it three seasons now? He's been Mm -hmm. a top 15 type player. Um, Obviously got the bag, got paid as a top 10 guy. We have not seen that this season at all. Like, at all. All we've seen is a bunch of drops and, you know, it just does not look like the Brandon Ayuk that we drafted. Um, he's been under 50 yards in every single game. We knew that there was going to be a ramp up period, especially coming off of no training camp, the holdout. But like, this is bad, bro. This is bad. He, and it's not like we had, he had targets against the Rams just did not perform. I don't know, man. I, I really like Brandon. Ayuk, and I think this is a really good opportunity to buy Brandon. I, yeah. especially with Debo and Kittle coming back. And I, the Niners are really good about, I, I've noticed this about the 49ers. When everything seemed as bleak as possible with the elite guys, whether it's Debo, it's Kittle, CMC always gets his. But whenever it seems like, oh, shit, man, are they part of the offense? A mega game happens. Mm -hmm. And I think Brandon Ayuk is due here very soon for a mega game. Yeah. I mean, I agree with you. You know, if like I said, if you're just stat watching, you're going to think that Brandon Ayuk is fucking terrible. Right, uh, had uh, over 40 games. We'll say over 40 yards each of the last three games. First game coming back, got matched up against Sauce. Um, obviously, coming off of um, you know, coming off of a, a holdout or a hold in, whatever the hell you want to call it. He's still getting he's still getting targets and uh, in the red zone. Right, he's still getting targets in the uh, in the end zone. Uh, albeit he's not coming down with them. It hasn't came down with them yet. In each of these each of these games, it looks like he's been targeted in the end zone. He's going to start coming down with those. So perfect time, in my opinion, to buy on him. Um, you know, it doesn't look good now, but like I said, the numbers are, you know, the numbers are what they are, but the actual games, if you're watching them, you'll see, you'll see Brandon, you'll see the true Brandon. I can, you, you can see it uh, coming a little bit more and more to fruition. Jawan Jennings has been involved a little bit more than, than I like, right? Even this last week, he was the leading receiver. They're going down field with Jawan Jennings he's proven to be like a look throw me the ball I'm going up against their weakest corner and I'm fucking I'm six five or whatever he is you know what I'm saying just I'll go up and go get it and but the fact also like no CMC I think does bode well for this entire receiving core including Brandon Ayuk I just don't think that it is like think, he's not the clear think he's cut. A wide receiver too. Like you still think he's like a, a top fifteen, wide, like a high end wide receiver too? Or are you tearing him down now because of Jawan Jennings' emergence? No, I still think he's a. I you know I, I still think he's a. Uh, I still think he's a high end wide receiver too. Um, a few scary notes, right? Not just Jawan Jennings, but we also got Ricky Pearsall coming back, right? So um, he's gonna be. It's he's 50. gonna. They say yeah. it's <laughs> <laughs> hey man, I'm not Ricky listen, Pearsall, bro. Man. He got shot nine times and back in the building. Bruh, I don't know how you can get shot in the heart and live and expect not to get some target share. Hey, bruh, he's been catching him in his chest all off season. Damn. But, Damn. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But I'm going to tell you like this, bruh. I think that I still have him as the top. I still have him, Listen. I still have him as a top uh, wide receiver, uh, top a high end wide receiver too, top fifteen. I mean, the snaps are back. When he first came back, he was limited, right? Like Ayuk was. They were trying to like limit his his workload, but it's like he's back now. The drops have happened, and if I mean, you hate to be like, oh, if this didn't happen, then this would happen. But like, we're a couple drops away from talking about Brandon Ayuk being like, okay, he's he's normally who he is, just a little bit off. So, in a bounce back game, like I've seen, I've seen suggestions to bench Brandon Ayuk. We are not benching Brandon Ayuk in a week, but there's a lot of people on buys. Do not bench Brandon Ayuk. And yes, you can be disappointed with his subpar performance, but we know who Brandon Ayuk is. And normally he's one of the most consistent wide receivers that there is. He offers a 10 point floor on most weeks. So don't be scared of Brandon Ayuk. And if anybody is scared or you see him on a bench, like this is what I do as like kind of a sneaky thing. I will look at people starting lineups, P, and I'll be like, are they benching a guy that I like? That means they're scared of starting him. So I'm hunting. If I see Brandon Ayuk on a bench, I'm throwing a low ball offer their way trying to get him this week. Yeah, yeah. And another little tip for y'all, another little sneaking tip for y'all. If you're throwing somebody you're not really that high on and uh, and you're throwing them in an offer, while that offers up, throw that person in your starting lineup so they can be like, oh, this person may know something that I don't know. Mm -hmm. So the reverse reverse is true as well. But, yeah, efficient – is Brandon Ayuk's fucking middle name. 
and he's going to get back to that. He didn't just he didn't just forget how to play football. So uh, so get him while he, get it get it while he's hot. You got to get him while he's hot. But listen, so before we get off of Brandon Ayuk, like so moving forward, you yeah. treat him as a high end wide receiver too, or you think that he is now wide receiver three land for the rest of the year? Especially no, he's with wide Pierce receiver. Coming back. Yeah, no, he's wide receiver two. You know, I mean, he's not he's not going to be a wide receiver three, bro. This offense is too high power. They have a they have an actual role for him, right? It's not just like dink and dunk. It's not like this offense. This offense honestly goes as well as well as Brandon Ayuk goes. They're, we're putting up points right now, albeit against you know lesser competition. Uh, but the, as effective as this team is, is with really with Brandon Ayuk, right? So that just yeah. opens up a new dynamic. Uh, that consistency uh, going over the middle, that consistency in that route running where he's open. One of the things, if we're talking about deep stats, is his separation has been trash. And so once he gets, once you start to see his actual routes being ran and it's like creating separation based off his routes that's when you're going to see the true brandon Ayuk. he's being a diva though like there's not, it's kind of, one of the concerns i have is he's kind of being a diva like in practice and stuff so i don't know if this is still like frustration but i thought he got the number that he wanted like that's the one thing i don't understand what Ayuk is like what's going on with him mentally like is he just not there he didn't want to be on the team he just got the bag to start the season like i don't know i, I can't really figure that dynamic out but when i look at the players that i would i'm thinking like all right if I view him as a mid-tier wide receiver two still with elite upside, like who am I taking him over? Am I taking Adams over him? Like Devontae Adams over Brandon Ayuk? I don't think I am. Am I taking a Jaden Reed over to, uh, Brandon Ayuk? I think I'd rather have, have Ayuk in that instance. It's like I still haven't fully committed to the idea that like Brandon Ayuk should be tiered down because I still think the production is there. Like are you taking <clears throat> Brandon Ayuk or are you taking Chris Olave? I'm Brandon Ayuk. Brandon Ayuk. You're taking Brandon Ayuk or Garrett Wilson? Uh, I'll take – I'm. ooh, that's good. Um, I'm taking – ooh, that's a good one. Um, I think I still I still would rank – I think Gar, I think Garrett Wilson bounces back, so I, I would still probably take Garrett Wilson over Brandon they're Ayuk. Right there, they're right there. Neck they're like – yeah, exactly. You got Brandon Ayuk or Drake London? Um, I would take Drake London over Brandon Ayuk. You got Brandon Ayuk or Marvin Harrison? Um, <clears throat> you know, I, you know, I listen. Um, that's I think that's where it is with me right there, right? Because I know I've been, you know, early in the preseason, I've been hating on uh, Marvin yeah, Harrison. You're lower on Marvin Harrison, aren't you? No, I'm, I've I've come up to where I can see I can see it now, right? Because um, you know, he's the primary target through the air. He's big, a big body guy. They talking him in the red zone. He's had a great um, two quarters this season. He, I mean, bro, he's he the last like, three games he's had touchdowns. Like, you know what I mean? Like the last three games he's had touchdowns. Yeah. You know, he hasn't like had I'm i I'm still gonna take Brandon Ayuk. I'll still take I would take I would take Harrison. I think Harrison's better. You think, think Harrison's better? I see the upside too. But I'd rather have Harrison's. Upside yeah, than, you know what? Uh, you know, it's he's probably yeah, he, yeah. Harrison's closer to wide receiver, like closer to like I think he's more of a back end wide receiver, one high end wide receiver too. And I think I think I use yeah, more I like mid tier wide receiver too right now. Yeah, I think you know what? I think you. I mean, you're probably right on that. You know, that's just a minor of me talking about. Am I going yeah. to take a cardinal? Um, uh, <laughs> but like the thing is, like I mean, you said it right. We've seen a glimpse from Marvin Harrison. We've seen a glimpse of him, like what he can do. Um, and if you watch the game, it's like, you know, there was a broken play for a long touchdown. There was another play for a touchdown. But where where I'm looking at is like that. There's this one catch on the sideline against Tredavious White where it's like, oh, this guy looks like a professional. You know what I mean? Not just looking like a professional, but the fact that um, the fact that he is a big ass body to like box out and make that catch like tight roping on the sideline. I was like, OK, shit, he got it. You know what I mean? Like he got it. 